breath. Give thanks for this moment, for your body. Slow and steady. Shift the heart forward, crown the head forward, fingertips back. Strong back leg, draw the shoulder blades together. Inhale in. Exhale, fingertips come back to the mat. And we slowly slide that left. Obviously, like my hair looks super cute and then I wash my face and it wets everything in front of it and then it's not so cute anymore like my hair is never gonna look cuter than it did before I washed my face Listen. see me doing my skincare no you don't I just got all this stuff last weekend so I've been needing, I've been, not needing, but I've been wanting to get like a little skincare routine. So I asked my friend to help me and I've been using it for a week. So far I am enjoying it, but I also still don't really know what I'm doing with it. But hey, if it gets me back to a place where I like my skin again, then I will take it because I was like two months off birth control and then I went back on birth control for a month so far. I mean, I'm back on it again. Um, and there's reasons to be off of it for like two months, but my skin was freaking out. Like I have not had it freak out like that and like ever. And so I was like, something needs to happen so that if I go off birth control for two months again, um, I can possibly have like a little more control over my skin. So. This is what I've got going on. I do it twice a day, once in the morning, like right now, and once in the evening. Every time I wear this sweater, I think this is the time I'm not going to spill on it. But I like this sweater so much, the color is cute, I feel cute in it. And so far every time I've worn it, I have spilled something on it and it has stained it. So today's the day. I will not be staining it. I got a perfume sampler because I'm trying to, I want to find like a signature scent or just like something. A nice little scent that I can wear because um, I like that idea and so I've been trying each one each day and this one's not too bad but I don't think it's gonna make the cut hi welcome back to my channel and if you're new here my name is Carly I like to make videos about things books life whatever I feel like making a video about and today this video I thought I would make a little weekend reading vlog. Didn't really talk yesterday, Friday when I got off work, um, but today is Saturday and I thought I would just take you along for whatever happened. I've got lots of plans, lots of just house things, housekeeping, keep myself, get myself ready for the coming week, um, but I am really tired because I it's been a long work week. I worked overtime because it is busy season for my profession. And while my overtime is not nearly as bad as others in my profession, I'm still tired. This is my first like big girl, nine to five, 40 hour a week, a job. And it's tiring to figure out how to like do my 40 hours a week, but also still have time to do the things that I myself like to do. Anyway, this weekend is all about recuperating and relaxing just like every other weekend for me is anyway I thought I would talk a little about what I'm reading because I saw a little bit last night but I'm in the middle of three books first one is I'm listening to Cara Caravel by Stephanie Gerber 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 
that's been on like my to read list for like a year since it first came out because I remember when I first started the booktube channel that I like abandoned but you're watching this on now. I remember Kara had come out and it was really popular and I wanted to read it and I never read it and now the Once Upon a Broken Heart trilogy came out or finished coming out last year and it got really big and those UK covers made me want to read it. So I'm kind of person where I'm like well I guess I could read it standalone but like it does take place in the universe of Carol so I gotta start with like the original books so that's what I'm trying to do but I've been reading I've been listening to it while at work which isn't always the best idea um and I have it on hold like the ebook physical book the ebook on hold um so I'm sort of stuck in between like I am enjoying what I've listened to but I want to like maybe start it again once I get the ebook so that I have a better understanding of what is going on because there's definitely been parts where I'm like wait what was that Lily where I'm like wait what is like how do we get here what is going on why are we kind of doing the things so I'm enjoying it I'm only about 30% of the way through um but I think I might have a better experience with it if I like physically read it so I'm kind of in between of like finishing it listening to it or like just waiting for that book. That's one. The other book I am reading is on my Kindle and it's the um, adult children of emotionally immature children. Um, not really like a psychology nonfiction book reader. It's been interesting but I kind of have to take it slowly and in parts to fully understand it because otherwise I feel like my mind wanders but also I'm reading it like right before I bed like my light is off. I am laying in bed. I am tired <laughs> and that's when I'm trying to read it and my mind is wondering. There's the aspects I'm not thoroughly enjoying about it but I don't know if that's a me thing or if it's like a psychology book thing so therefore it is a me thing. Yeah. It's interesting. I'm open to reading more nonfiction this year. And the last book that I am reading that I know I showed you last night was I am reading Love in the Big City by Song Yong Pok. It's about Love in the Big City tells the story of a gay man searching for happiness in the lonely city of Seoul. Um, so far I am really liking it. You can see little tabs here because I'm trying, I liked annotating a little bit. I'm not writing in it because if I end up hating this book by the end um, I don't want to have a bunch of writing in it. But so far I am really liking it. Um, again it's one that I'm trying to like take slow and savor it because it just feels like that's what this deserves. So far what I've read is only about 50 pages um, but they're not very likable characters but there are things that I really relate to especially the end of the first part was like almost had me had me tearing up last night when I was reading it because I could just relate to how they're feeling and yeah so that's what I've been reading lately. Um, try to get a little bit more done. I could be like really like ambitious and say I want to finish these books this weekend but I don't because both this one and the adult children of emotionally immature um, parents or whatever that one is called are both books that I just like want to take slower and safer. So even though they are both shorter reads, um, I'm going to take my time with them. Probably get through some more. I want to get through some more of it, but yeah, they are both books that I want to slowly savor. But I've got other things going on through this weekend. There's another video fun thing that I want to try to film this weekend, but we'll see if I get around to it. And I've just got other things going on in the house. So yeah, follow me as I do my weekend stuff. I haven't really done much since I checked in. I've done a little bit off of my to-do list, but I haven't really brought you because the camera needed charging. Thought I might get a little head on editing, which is what I think I'm gonna do a little bit of right now. Um, because honestly, editing is like my least favorite part of making videos. Sacrilegious, I know, but yeah, I don't know. I think I get fr I get frustrated because I don't really know how to make things as aesthetic as I want them to be. It's not really my style, um, and I don't really know how to even go about looking for the information that I want to know. So I'm kind of like in the middle of learning like three different languages right now, not like some super language learner or anything. Um, but I started learning French in high school and I took a few classes at university college, um, but haven't really gone far with it, but I would really like to get better at it. So I, I use Duolingo daily for that. And I will say, I think Duolingo for 
a language that I'm already fairly familiar with because um, I can read French pretty well, I would say. Like I can get the gist of something. I read it if it's in French and I read it. Um, listening is awful. That's the skill I need to practice the most and speaking could be better. But I do Duolingo just to kind of keep up on, why does this look so weird? To keep up on the skills, just to keep it. Um, the language I'm trying to learn is Korean. Um, very much a beginner, but I can read in Korean, um, even though I don't really understand what I'm reading, but I can read it. My thing for learning Korean or helping to keep or gain skills in Korean is I'm watching this guy, this channel called Learn Korean in Korean. I've been doing this for a few years now. I'm not the best at being like staying consistent with it, but I have learned the most Korean from this guy. Um, and it is just exactly like it says. Uh, he does not speak in English at all, any other language. It is the only English I've ever seen is when we were talking about like cities and he would spell out New York and London. Um, but I can follow along. And sort of my idea with it is that I do have a little notebook where I take little notes because at the end of every kind of lesson, um, there is a little practice thing to practice what we just learned. Um, and I do like to write those down just to give myself that practice, even though I don't really look back to it. But I've been trying to watch the videos on my weekends because the videos aren't very long. Like right now, it is the names of the months and days. And um, each video is only like eight minutes long. Um, and so I can get through that. Another one I'm trying to learn, not really, is Japanese. And I say not really, I just found a site called Wani Kini to help you learn kanji and so I've been doing that twice a day and that sounds like a lot but it's not. Most of the stuff is reviews and I just go through the review cards it gives me. And then when I decide I'm comfortable with those I will add, I will do new ones and add like five more in. Japanese isn't a hard study for me. I just found this site and it seemed fun and it's been fun. Anyway, that's sort of what I've been up to. I was uploading footage I took earlier and um, while I was waiting for that to upload I was watching a learn Korean and Korean video while I also worked on a little crochet project. This is going to be a hat like this. So what I really really want to be doing right now is playing my Sims game. I downloaded Sims 4 a few weeks ago and I play it chances whenever I kind of get which isn't a lot. Right now I have a sim because I have to get famous pack or something but I'm trying to get her to level 10 of the acting career and then to get her like five star fame level um because I've never done it before and it seemed like a fun challenge for me and it's been a fun time. I am really enjoying it so I really want to play some but haven't gotten around to it. I will say when I play the sims sometimes when they're like sleeping or off to work or whatever um, I will pick up like a book and read during those like little times. Um, so I keep my books next to me in case I want to pick it. I want I have a little chance to read. Ooh, another thing I wanted to do today was uh, work on my book, book journal. I decided this year that I wanted to have a book journal. Okay, not really decided. I have four different journals. Okay, we don't need to go there, but one of the journals I have is a personal journal, but within that personal journal, I keep track of like the shows I'm watching, books I've read, and movies I have watched. And um, and for a while there, I did used to write little reviews of the books I read within my journal pages, but a couple years ago, I realized I hated doing that. I was not having fun with it. And I just kept a little monthly running list of books that I read and the star ratings I had given them. Last year I got a Kindle and I got really into Kindle reading found that I really enjoyed highlighting um, passages and stuff within the books and that I wish that I had a place where I had written down like idea like my thoughts on books more so. Like some books are gonna warrant more in-depth thoughts for me versus other books, which I think is where I had gone wrong with my previous one, um, was that I was forcing myself to write in like thoughts for every book I read and not every book deserved to have all my thoughts about it. But I um, wanted a place to do that. So I created a notion journal because me typing out my thoughts is going to be a lot easier for me than me like 
writing them down. And then I was like, okay, well, that's a great thing in Notion page to have it, but I think it'd be really fun to have like a physical thing that I could go back to and look at. So I'm creating a book journal this year. And I've decided that like at the end of every month, I will go and update the whole journal by from what the stuff that I've written down in my Notion page. So it's the first weekend of February, so I can update um, January's page and start February's stuff. So that's another thing I wanted to get done this weekend. But truth be told, I'm probably going to start the editing and then play some Sims. And Brooke generally may get pushed off to like tomorrow. <laughs> sims for like four hours um an update on that is my sim got to the top of the acting career and she's one fame star away from being like top fame star or whatever is in that game and she just had her first kid a daughter she's not married she has like a roommate friends with benefits or a situation going on um because she's too focused on her career um but I might try to do some sort of legacy thing with it. Like I have all the careers written out and then just like for each new kid, um, just randomize which job they will get and that will be the career thing. Um, anyway, yeah, that was fun. And then I just took a bath, read a little bit. Now I am trying to decide if I wanna to try to make dinner now or if I wanna wait a little bit so that it'll be like done closer to the time that my mom will get off and might just wait a little bit. Just stare at the messy background. But I can't really talk right now in my room because it is right next to the next door house. And they have like the landscapers or whoever does stuff over there over and they are trying to take down the tree house in the back. So it is lot. There is lots of noise. But it is 10.30 on Sunday and I haven't really done much. Well, I have done much. Um, I have, I just finished up some Korean stuff. I did work out and it is now the time of day where I am dreaming of ordering food for my favorite place. Not my favorite, favorite place, but like from a place I like, but I can't order anything because they're not open yet. So I'm just gonna eat and probably check in once they're done doing whatever the heck they're doing. All right, thank you. Yep, bye-bye. Bye. I hate making phone calls. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. But I could treat myself. It's right by a grocery store. Should I go to the grocery store and buy myself a little drink? Maybe, maybe. All right, guys, I haven't really done any reading today, but I have not stopped thinking about this book and I just need to like put it out there. I read quite a few pages. I'm on like page 80 now. And like the way this book just like encapsulates so many what feels like niche experiences that I personally have lived through is like whoa even though this is a translated work the way the author and the translator have been able to like push these feelings that I have felt in situations that I have dealt with and it's accurate I it is like I'm watching my life but not I don't know how to explain it but I just relate so much to what is happening in this book I don't relate to the main character not really but like the feelings that he is feeling towards certain things happening like it's almost as if I having gone through like the same things had chosen a different way of dealing with stuff this is how 
I might have turned out. <laughs> um, but it doesn't, doesn't make it bad or good, it just kind of is. I don't think this is like a book that I would easily recommend to anybody. Um, and I think going into it with this sort of, with different expectations um, could mean you have a very terrible reading experience with this book, but like it is like hitting me in ways that I was not expecting it to hit me and surprising me in ways that I was not expecting it to surprise me. I might sit down and do a little bit more reading of this right now um, with the last little bits of the sun, but I also really want to play Stardew Valley and now that I'm looking at it, I need to, oh, it's gross. I need to clean that. I need to do some cleaning. I need to vacuum. Um, but like, yeah, I, this I think is going to be a very special book to me. It already, it already is. shower and in my pajamas and I've got a cup of decaf tea here so it's the end of the night I think I'm gonna close off this vlog thank you for coming along with me this weekend it was therapeutic 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 to uh <clears throat> vlog a little I know there wasn't much reading in this reading vlog but the stuff I'm reading is very good it just deserves like my full attention and to be savored and thought about as it's read um which is not something I do I would say very often and it's kind of refreshing to sort of switch up my uh reading hi <laughs> my reading um thing my readings right now I don't know what I'm saying um but yeah I'm just gonna finish watching the episode of the show that I've started, drink my tea, just relax, and um, get some sleep before another full week of work happens. Anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, if you liked what you saw, please consider hitting the subscribe button and seeing what else I put out there. Um, and yeah, that's it. Hope you guys have a good rest of your day, night, morning, whatever time it is for you guys whenever you're watching this. Um, and I will see you guys with another video. Bye!